reading is one of the most vital life skills. At our school, all the teachers try and make reading fun for everyone. Hi, I'm Francesca. And I'm Brian. Here at St. Be the Venerable, reading is important to us. Students in kindergarten through eighth grade all enjoy reading. Our librarian, Mrs. Luxick, is always planning fun and exciting activities to promote reading for both younger and older children. In September, Krista Smith, author of The Adventures of the Poodle Posse, came to St. Bede's to talk to us about her books, her life, and her inspiration. When she visited, we got a chance to sit down with her and talk about her books. The Adventures of the Poodle Posse by Chris Smith. Okay. So, what is the story about? Well, it's the stories are about my actually my dogs in my house, my poodles who do funny things, and uh, I keep acquiring more and more of them. So, the series is building, but then the interaction of all the poodles makes the stories kind of funny and, and entertaining. First grade has a reading monitor in which students feed their book reports. Once a month, second grade is guest readers. During Catholic Schools Week, students in the upper grades read to students in the lower grades. After I've traveled so far, we'd set the fire to the third bar. We'd share each other like an island Until exhausted, close our eyes Here at St. Pete's, when it comes to reading, our students get very happy, especially the event that takes place each year is called Reading Olympics. To find out more about this event, I spoke with our librarian, Mrs. Luxick. Interviewing with Mrs. Luxick, our librarian here at St. Pete's. So, what is Reading Olympics? Reading Olympics is a program where the children are given a list and they have to read a certain amount of books and then they compete and answer questions about the books after several months of reading. What grades participate? Um, reading Olympics is actually open to all grades, but here at St. Bede's we have a middle school team, which would be 6th, 7th, and 8th grades. How many books do the students need to read? They need to read a minimum of 10 books. But we have some students here who actually read all 46 on the list, which is very nice. Uh, when are the Reading Olympics? The Reading Olympics this year are March 24th, 2010, and I'm pretty sure we're going to be at New Hope Salisbury for a second year. At Reading Olympic competitions, St. Bede's comes in first place. These are some of the books that students have to read for Reading Olympics. Enhances your vocabulary. Expands your mind. Brightens your imagination. We hope you enjoyed watching our podcast. As you've learned, St. Pete students are always active in reading. We hope you found a couple more reasons to read every day. Thank you for watching. Keep, Keep on reading. reading.